Wildcard line, you're on the air with us. Hi there. Hi. Uh, I'm having an interesting night tonight, aren't we? It is, indeed. And where might we be? I'm Jackie. I'm from, uh, well, North Las Vegas. Okay, Jackie, go ahead. Okay. Uh, John, I'm hoping you can solve a 27-year-old mystery for me. Uh, do you know what was going on in 1979? Uh, where? Well, on Mars. No. Okay. What was going on in 79 <laughs> on Mars? Well, I I used to work at NASA during that time and uh, handling downlink telemetry and uh, one night on our video monitors while, you know, the uh, little Viking rover was uh, running around, I see two men in suits, not necessarily space suits. I mean, they looked protective, but uh, they didn't look like the bulky things that, you know, our astronauts use. But they came over the horizon walking towards the uh, uh, Viking Explorer, and uh, our vision got cut off. I didn't see what they did with it or anything else. They were probably making repairs. Well, that's why I was wondering if they were our guys or not. Cause, yeah, they were, know, they you know were what kind of guys. suits they wore? Pardon? Do you know what kind of suits they wore? In well, our they wouldn't have to wear very much. I mean, the atmosphere is... Uh, uh, there's enough atmosphere to walk around without a spacesuit on Mars, same as there is on the moon. I mean, there's not, it's like about 15,000 feet on Earth. Now, uh, you can go through a 24 hour acclimatization uh, program on the moon and you can walk around uh, without a spacesuit. Uh, same thing on Mars. You don't need a spacesuit. Uh, if they had one, it was just minimal. Did you have any other witnesses there while you saw this? Oh, there's about a. Uh well, out of the workers, there's probably about a half a dozen of us, because uh, we were, you see the typical NASA things where they got all the monitors. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you had a few people out there monitoring the monitors. Yeah, you got about, you know, the people that were up there, and then there's about a half a dozen of us downstairs, because, you know, it, it was just maintaining the uh, equipment, because if anything went wrong, we had to get it up quick so they didn't miss the uh, telemetry. You folks must have been amazed at what you saw. I Yeah, because, you know, uh, when we saw that and they cut off our video downstairs, of course, we ran upstairs and, and uh, you know, they've got uh, almost side doors upstairs. They have those little windows. I don't know if you, have you been there. I have not, no. Okay. Well, they got those side doors going up to the to the back, uh, what we call nosebleed section in most stadiums and stuff. But anyway, uh, you come up there and uh, we could look through the little window in that because they had just locked the door and they normally don't lock it on us. But anyway, they just locked the door, and then they came, you know, we saw some more on their monitors, and then they came over some paper to tape those doors. <laughs> they clipped it. Can you well, imagine Jackie, that, I John? appreciate you calling yeah. and telling us that story. It is great, and it just confirms what, what's going Can on. Can you there. imagine that, John? There they are looking at their telemetry, and they spot the monitors, and they're looking at the rover or piece of it, and all of a sudden they t see two human beings walking into the scene. Yeah, absolutely. They were going, just like Mars Rover, cleaning off the dust. They had their paper towels and Windex and <laughs> cleaned off so it could receive the signal.